Viscom is a tool made by designers for designers to help accelerate their workflow. When creating a new file in the application, we have a canvas that you can import your sketches and start drawing on. After that, you can describe the desired result and choose the style of the rendering. The drawing influence slider is going to set how much we want to stick to our original sketch lines. And now Viscom is going to generate the rendering according to these settings. We can also regenerate with different specifications. The other main mode in the Create tab is the Refine, which is going to take what's already on the canvas and will generate more details. We can set the effect of refinement by the Drawing Influence slider. Another way of introducing novelty into the generated renderings is by uploading a reference image. We can set how much influence we want to get from the uploaded image. If we only want to change specific parts on the rendering, we can use the Impainting Selection tool to create a path around the object. In this case, I will invert the selected area to only influence the background of the main character. After that, I can describe a new background by prompting. Another way to start creating in Viscom is be uploading a 3D model on the canvas as a reference that you can sketch over or simply create a visualization out of a base mesh. In this workflow, I also introduce Workbench, the infinite canvas view of Viscom, where we can generate as many renderings at the same time as we want with different styles and specifications in this unique overview. We can always utilize the drawing studio for detailed work and we can always come back outside for this layout, which can be suitable for collaboration and for telling the design story of how you get to the final result.